right, guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you were not subscribed, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos that I upload on this channel. And I appreciate it because you helped me grow the channel way above and beyond. Way above and beyond. Look at this, by the way. It is snowing on my hair. 10 out of 10 game. All right. Oh, please oh. tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. No, I don't have an answer. Why does it look like a, the damn Matrix up in here all of a sudden? What is going on in the here? Yeah, there's something up with my graphics, uh, specifically, specifically the ray tracing stuff. Uh, all right, so yeah, we gotta talk to Poppy. We gotta go talk to Sebastian, and then we gotta go meet a uh, lot uh, uh, whatever his name was. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. <gasps> I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? No. Exactly. Merlin. Yes. <laughs> I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. We should check on her. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? To do with Ran Ruck. I'd rather not say at present. Yeah, we don't want to say anything to anybody that we don't have to. If it's all right with you, I'd rather not say. Oh, Poppy's at good. At least not at the moment. Understood. We all have our secrets. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. <sighs> okay. All right. So she's going to let us know when she finds the, the, the mother dragon because we still have the egg. Okay, so now I need to go in... Um, we need to find Sebastian because Sebastian has another unforgivable cur curse that he wants to, to teach me uh, in the catacombs. Okay, okay on map, we got to go back to the catacombs. Way down here. Oh my goodness. Luckily, I have a teleportation device right beside it. The flu system. I love this game. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Yeah, would you, would you lure me out here, Sebastian? You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. Catacomb. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Student report. The catacomb assignment yielded more than I imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In an area behind the great room which had suffered decay amid the turned over uh, sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately, I sensed its power. I would be thrilled to study the Reddit further, if only the removal of the objects were allowed. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Okay, let's go in. 
Bet you there's gonna be uh, some zombies down here. Creepy, creepy. Lumos. I'm creepy sure that zombies. foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. The stinks down here? Oh no. Oh. Hell no. Let's go ahead and put a stop to these spiders. Get over here. Turn into a. Oh, the explosive barrel! <laughs> I forgot. At least now we know we're not alone in here. I forgot I could do that. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Akio. Spiders aren't insects. Revelio. Don't start. Confringo. Fringo up there. Akio. Pull this out. Right, right. Okay. We're here for a reason. Yeah, I'd say opening them all is justified. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Alright. <laughs> This room is taller than it looks. Revelio. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. There's some bibis. Bibis. Come out, bibis. Oh, you are so lucky I couldn't shoot you. Here? Here. You didn't know what was here, did you? I don't even know how powerful I am. I shall sleep better tonight. Oh, Revelion. They have destroyed the spider. I will say, being able to turn one enemy into an explosive barrel that can kill another enemy is extremely OP. Revelion. Absolutely ridiculous. Confringo. Accio. Revelion. All right, so go that way. Which is the way I think I'm gonna go. Um, or I can go this way. Because I wanna go the way that I'm not, I mean, yeah. I'm not supposed Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Hello, spider scums. Don't you even try it. Don't you even try it. Oh. Yeah, that makes. Man, that just Rebellion. makes this game this grass, so much easier. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and practical problems. Often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Will we? Will we, Sebastian? There's giant spiders. I'm gonna have nightmares for the rest of my life. <sighs> Ready. Now, this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Rebellion. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. There's something here by the altar. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay, but research must come before my filthy, uh, filthy to the rules. I sent something about this relic. I was that... I was told that... Those chosen by English oak wands have powerful intuition, I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment. Learning the Imperious Curse, the spell is said to serve well against enemies. Oh. What did you find? Found something about the Imperious Um, yeah, let, let me Confringo. throw up everything that I can first. Rebellion. So it looks like I could go up through there to get to... Oh, yeah, We've the... made it this far. Treasure. But clearly, we have more to do. Clearly. Confringo. Okay. Um... Akio. Pull that down. That down. Confringo. I need to find a safe way across. Okay, it's not letting me light that stuff. Lumos. Yeah, the way so I can burn. Confringo. Oh, it won't let me light it, really? 
Fuck it like that. Hmm. Lumos. Very, very interesting. Lumos. There's one. Akio. Lumos. Two. All right. So I think what I could do is build a bridge now. Hmm. Akio. Ungardium Leviosa. Go. Yeah, there's one. Akio. Ungardium Leviosa. Two. What in the world? Hold up. Hold up. What? Akio. Ungardium Leviosa. Right here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Akio. I have to put it on the platform. Now she'll be able to walk across. Rickety bone bridge complete. The rickety bridge has been completed. Revelio. Oh, so this is the area I was just looking at. Okay, so if I were to do this. Should open that. Yes, I am a genius after all. A mounted house elf ed head? What? I could put that in my uh in my in my crib back at the castle. Revelio. Poor, poor Deke. He's gonna think I'm a monster when I put that up. Okay, so it looks like everything I got I could get out of there. I think there's treasure or something right here. I get all the treasure first. All the treasures. Okay, so. I hear that. I hear this. I hear that. And I hear that. Alright. Uh, where do I put these? Right here? Whoa! This door is insane! What is going on here? What the hell? Hey, let's talk to him. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room. Which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. Period. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked on the either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. Yeah, so we got more bones in Action. here. Revelio. Looks like the, uh... Two sets of bones. One on the table right here and these. We're, we're creating an archway of bones. Akio. Okay, and then this one. There we go. Did it. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Oh. Nice. Uh, that was terrible. <laughs> Hello. Anyone down here? Before wanted... we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperius Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. Ooh. So, Mind if control. you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Um, how do, yeah, how do you know about this? Where did you learn the Imperius Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. 
Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. I prefer not to learn the Imperious Curse. Yes, I'd like to learn the Imperious Curse. It's probably curse. wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Uh-oh. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Ooh, like a four. Imperia! Your brain is mine! There we go. Something troubling ahead. Uh oh Be on your guard. Be on our guard. All right, so we got the new curse. Let's put the curse on this one. Why not? Um... How about instead of levitating, we put it on this, like this. Yeah. I want one, I want one, I want you! You're mine! Really this. Oh, we crushed it! So this one's, this one's mine, like my friend? Um, he has nobody to fight. Yeah, he has nobody to fight. Hey, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Could have had a 1v1 situation. Okay. Well, that's cool, though. Confringo. Accio. Rebellion. So now, ooh, I wonder if I could control, like, ogres. The big guy. Ooh, spider right there. Okay. I wonder if I could, yeah, I wonder if we can control the, the big spider. All right, so this is the way to go. So let's go into this room first. Hello, big spider. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. He's mine. He's mine. Awesome. 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 Crush. He's he is kicking butt for me. He's amazing. Where you at? Uh oh. Now, now he's looking at me. Boy! Can't turn. Something big at the. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. If he keeps this guy alive. Yeah, go underground, go underground. I want to turn him into a. Um, where's he at? 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 Oh, there he is. Oh! Oh! Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Bits Turned him into an explosive it? barrel. That was awesome. Confringo. Revelia. Confringo. The hell? Oh, some healing potions. Nice. Revelio. Always could use healing potions. So there's a chest right there. How do we get to that chest? Ooh, right here. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's Give me some been good. here in quite some time. Legendary uh, back item. So it most likely is a, an upgrade, which is great. Revelio. Now we go across. Huh. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. Okay, how so gracious of you. I try. Now what are we doing here? Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get that it. I get it. Keep going. I get it. Um. So we we just opened this door. Rebellion. So if I want to open this door, I need I need to pull this one. Action. And this one. That opened this. Okay. Right. Rebellion. No, it did not. Oh no no! I need to pull them in order. 
We need to pull this one. And then... And then this one. So that opens this. Ingardium Leviosa. Ingardium Leviosa. Okay, so now I need to pull this one. And then the circle one, which is right here. So that's going to open this door. It is Sebastian, I'm a damn genius! Genius! Is there anything behind that door? Oh, there's a chest. So, I want to pull this one. And then this one. Genius, Sebastian! You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. One more! One more joke! So help me, I will use the unforgivable. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Expelliarmus! Confringo! Place looks crazy. <gasps> hey guys, hey guys, take the biggest one. Take the You're mine. Whew. Destroy him. And bring go. Ah ah ah! And bring go. Heavy on. Heavy on. Oh my God! Here's big boy. Big boy. Please. I can't turn. I can't turn the big ones into into bombs. Crucio! Ah. You're being Crucio today. Boom. I think I am fighting much better with that new spell. Confringo. Accio. That's to be the place we were looking for. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. I don't give up yet. What the hell, Sebastian? We just made it here. Let me loot first, and then we look around. Okay. Right here on the table. You didn't even look at the table. The relic's note. Lost relic illust illustration. Let's look at the note first. The relic contains an abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind, but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize... Uh... Its intent may be too great until we know more. Please do not remove this relic. Oh, it's a triangle of dead creatures. Sebastian, the relic! Ugh. Look! Could right, it be? Right there. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. We need that relic. We should leave the relic alone. So, there was like warnings on taking the relic out of here, but we're, we're going to do that. But I wonder, oh, I wonder if this is a piv pivotal moment in the game where you're supposed to not do something. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft.
I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Okay. What the hell is he doing here? Um. Turn invisible. The only way. So quietly now. Is that Shh. ominous? Shh, we can sneak by him. He's blind, he doesn't know. He knows nothing. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. You idiot! It was you! You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. <gasps> Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Wait, I just realized that I tried to turn invisible and sneak past the blind guy. Very well, let's talk to Sebastian. I cannot side with you. Sebastian's right. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it, Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of, of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperium! Oh! Passed it on him. Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. I guess, uh... Sebastian, come on! I guess that does what work. What did you do? Imperio. Lumos. It was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we need to go. Oh. We just did that thing. Did we do the wrong thing. You need the relic. I know, but not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperio on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. Hopefully I didn't miss anything in here. And if I did, whatever. We've always looked out for each other. Ominous and I. I hope he knows that hasn't changed. How long would the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb, just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. Return to Feldcroft. <sighs> I gotta run this whole way? Okay. <gasps> it's on fire! What the... What the hell? What's happening? When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. Um... She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. 
Doesn't look like she might be here. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. <gasps> Velkov's in trouble. They're under attack. I what? Let's hurry. Revelia. I see, I see enemies. I see em em enemies. <gasps> Damn, they get messed up. No! I will Help us, minion! Help us now, minion! Sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Woo! Revelio. That's an awesome little battle in this little area. I like that. Let's go talk to this fool. Solomon. What was he thinking? He saved her life. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. <gasps> you Why, Sebastian? Snitch? You gonna snitch on us? Do you not know who we are and what we're growing to be? We're, we're growing to be the powerful. The most powerful. You see this house? You see your house? Fringo. You see what I could do to your house? Revelio. Alright, let's go over here, sell what I can, and we go to the next. I have some 
promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Right. Speak with Sebastian and Undercroft first, and then we go talk to Poppy for the dragon quest. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, quest right here. Where is Sebastian? He's in the Undercroft. Um, right here, so... Travel here. There's like one more unforgivable curse, right? Or is there two? I have no idea. Oh. Um, she's showing that booty. <laughs> what the hell? I feel like someone was invisible behind me and just like flipped up my damn thing. <laughs> Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my home twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Okay. Ooh. All right. Um. So now, uh, we either do Poppy or the main quest. Check out our quest real quick. Gobbledygook. Or we can get Lombarda, but we can do that later. We still gotta meet Natty. Um. Yeah. Let's do this one since this was a part of uh, yesterday, uh, the last video. Let's um. Let's finish this quest line. She is in town. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and go there. Not saying I don't cast the odd cleaning spell when no one's looking. Never seen. It's not like her to forget. She's here. Let alone the windows. Hello, Poppy. It's a wonder they can even. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week, she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. Plimpies? What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Poppy's cool. I like anybody who likes animals. 
How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Okay. Some enemies are vulnerable. Here we are. Oh. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds simple enough. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Aw, oh, man. W what would happen if we did keep the egg? Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, Where? above us. Yo! She did make it home safely. That is so Good. Cool. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Revelia. We gotta, we gotta be careful we don't get eaten by the dragon. Hello, Mama Dragon. Uh, Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Uh, looks like she's been eating things. <laughs> looks like she's been eating people. Oh no. Revelio. <gasps> For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Usually. That move is so good. It's ridiculous. Where are you, Smitty? Thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your hopes, but the fight uh, about the fighting ring. But the true galleons are in. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago. Not to mention, Borneo's not half bad to look at. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps, is such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. It looks like... How charming. They keep in touch with each other. It looks like Angus didn't, uh... Didn't make it. Unless that's the other guy. <gasps> there she is again. She's Whoa! From a distance. Wingardium Leviosa, prepare her. Fantastic. Confringo. Bye, puppy. So long, puppy. Oh, <gasps> don't you do it, puppy. Don't you push me. <laughs> Rebellion. how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. How lucky for us. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I have always wondered what it would be like being eaten by a dragon. Watch your step. Uh. 
What? More just raring for a fight. What, what about a grapple? <gasps> what? I have yet to see these creatures in the game. There's two of them. Quiet. What was that? <laughs> oh, are we about to fight her? Tabity. Yeah, she's dangerous. She's dangerous. She's hella dangerous. Revelio. Right. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure we know. Keep at it. We've That's right. You can't get me right here. Oh! She isn't making it easy. Oh god. <laughs> Not a warm welcome. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. A little uh, too warm. I don't suppose you listen to reason. I normally try, but I know you can't hide behind these. <laughs> but it's cool to see me flop around. You can't hit me. You can't hit me. I'm too fast. I'm too dr fast, dragon lady. Too bad. You can't. You can't. Look, can't go I think we're close. We are close. She's leaving quickly. Where's she going? Brilliant. Revelia. There's the nest. We're almost there. Such a cool. Uh. Why is every bridge here broken? Hero. Such a cool mission right here. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Here, so this is her nest. Let's place the dragon egg. Uh-oh. Don't eat it, please. And that that dragon has some battle marks all over her. was brilliant and did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless, unless what? what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. <gasps> they're going after her grandmama. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what they're, what they're up to. I 
I need to start oh, using God, stupid fire so a lot. All right. Poached egg has been completed. While we're here, look at this guy trying to ride this broom. It's like a tiny broom. <laughs> While we're here, we need to um, sell the items. Let's pet the kitty. Always got to pet a kitty. Such a good kitty. Yes, you're such a good kitty. Meow, 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 meow. Very beautiful kid pet, by the way. Very beautiful. Uh, I guess I could sell my items in here. Please uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I'm here to sell my my things. Sell this. Sell that. Sell this. Sell that. Sell this. We sell that. Sell this. And we sell this. Then we sell this too. Then we sell that. We see if you got anything. You do not have anything that I want to buy. Good day, I sir. you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Good day, sir. Let's go to quests. Now, let's do the main quest. We gotta go find a, 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 a meat. He is right here, so the closest place I can get to him is here. We gotta go talk to this guy because he claims he knows gobbledygook. Yeah. Currently tracking nothing? What are you talking about? That's a lie. I'm tracking everything. I'm tracking it all. I think I need to go to the top. Velio. Velio. Goes peeps. Oh, God, we gotta go all the way to the top. Right here. Oh, here he is. Hello there. Hello, Amit. Do I recall Me you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Okay. All right. Uh, meet him near the mine entrance. Yeah, that is so far away. Hopefully we have a, a spot that I can quickly get there from over here. Where is it? Mm, right here. I got a fast broom, so it shouldn't take long at all. Finally on the main mission, so... I can show you my balls. Shimmering, shimmering balliness. I can see through my body when I when I'm dipping. Yeah, let's get this um let's get this balloon. Five of them. The more balloons I pop, uh, the more brooms I unlock.
land right here too. Gotta land on one more platform. Alright. Main mission it is. I am ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna land a little bit further away. Just so I can collect things. Rebellion. Apparently there's nothing to collect. Alright, what up little guy? Wait a minute, if I talk to if I talk to him on this side, it should give me a view. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. Oh, no. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain like access. The chest. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. Okay, I'm ready. Our mate and I can do this. I will await your return. So I gotta go through this place. I shall see you soon. And not let a door see me. I can do that. <laughs> do it. Revelio. What the hell is that? Alright, let's go ahead and do this. This is part of the main story mission. <laughs> Enter the goblin the mine. The door is looking at us. Lumos. Lumos! Now the door can't see us. It's like, what? That's right, open that door. The mind's eye. 
We're going into goblin Don't territory. So rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mind. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe Rebellion. I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. This is cool. We need, to, we need to be careful because there's got to be enemies down here. I still can't I believe we're inside a real goblin mine. In a goblin mine. Oh, look at him. His little self. We're not. I've read about mines like this. Oh, look. But seeing one is something else altogether. They got magic pickaxes doing their work for them? That's cheating. Yeah. We need to get across this gap somehow. Finny Slayers is on the case. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh. 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 Anybody else? Uh, are you? Uh. Oh, you want some more? Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I'll find something for you. Boom. Oh. That was a little more than I used to. Reve I'll get us through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. Okay, so, um... Pull this. This slowed the water down. What do you do? We're being watched by a door. Being watched. Do I have to push that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. This one. We can be seen by that eye. Here. Revelia. Oh, oh, maybe I need to. Obviously, I could turn invisible and get through the seen, door. I should use disillusionment. That I won't see a thing. Obviously, I'm trying to see how to get the treasure up there. Thought I was supposed to pull that thing down, but apparently I'm not. Oh, oh, here it is. Okay. Alright, now we pull this down. This is gonna lift this up, right? Yep. There goes the bubbly going through. Lifted it that up. Revelio. And then we pull this out. And now I can get Rebellion. the treasure. One of those big box treasures too, so it's gonna be like a legendary piece. Legendary neck item. Nice. Okay. Like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. I'll be quiet. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. Plans right here. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Right. Can't do that. Right, so there's three, you know, there's three, three guys right here. It's just, you know, in in their suffering. Hey guys. I was. Confringo. Potato. Potato. Kept falling behind the, the building. Last loyalist. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Revelio. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Yeah, what could they be hiding from from us? And why would they hide it from us? We're innocent. You shouldn't hide things like this from us. Oh, this is where they sleep. 
goblin sleep in this room, nice and cozy, you know? That's their kitchen. Here's another one. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Um. Hello, guys. Hello. What's up? What's up? I was invited. I was invited. Much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Well, there's loot up there. Uh, there's a staircase to get up there. So run around and get our bags. Another schematic. Rebellion. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Mine is too small. I don't know what that's all about, but we did that. What is that doing? Oh, it lifted that up. Okay, cool. Right, I guess that's the way to go, so let me run up here. Get me treasure. Revelia. There's a bag right there I need to get as well. I need to obtain all the loot. <sighs> Book stand for my uh for my rumor requirement. Let's make sure that we... Oh, we can put some mandrakes for next time we get into a, a group fight. Throw a mandrake out. Is that everything? One little item right here. Yes, okay. That's everything. Get the hell out of here. Snare. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Not the yeah. entanglement we need right now. Standing in it. <laughs> Revelia. I should be able to uh jump across it this time. Oh. That's right, devil Revelia. snare. Not catch me. Patrol. 
something better to do. Hello. You won't get no. A lot smoother, but I made it out with my life. Revelia. That's all that matters. Okay, um, we're gonna need to light something. the cave okay all right so the uh the fire pit is on the other side of this door so we light the door and we come back through now see what that does so this is where we need to go like the main area I apologize to me. Oh, that lowered the uh, the elevator. Okay, so that's that has to be the way out. Here we go. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. It's a Bigger drill. than this mine could contain. What? Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Revelio. Revelio. Oh, there's a locked door. What's this? Aloha, Mora. Could they possibly be hiding in this room? Hello? Revelio. Decorated stand. That's it. There's a little bit of treasure. Hmm. Revelio. Alright, let's get the hell out of here, Meat. We're almost out of here, Meat. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. <gasps> Hopefully he's still out here. Ah. 
Um, can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Cock. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. You're gonna walk home? You're not gonna, you know, teleport? Okay. Rebellion. <laughs> They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. We know who, who he's talking about. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock. Transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. This is crazy. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Crazy. You need to be careful, little homie. 
getting into the thick of it. But look at this view. Wow. That is so cool. That's so cool. I wonder what would happen if I do this. I hope we have this. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Alright, well. Let's, let's see where our last checkpoint is. Watch it be before I talk to him and I have to talk to him all over again. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. All right, guys. That was the last episode. I hope Professor Fisk. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. I will show you the world. You only liked I should investigate. Videos. You will see my channel grow. All you gotta do is help me out. I'm not asking for much. Like my videos just takes one touch with your finger. Help me out. Help my videos get some views. Recommend my channel to your grandma and your nephews. Uh, they just want to watch my videos and I want to play video games for you.